got there on scene and uh, the boat was uh, was already pretty well awash. The, uh, there was maybe a foot, six inches of freeboard uh, on the stern. We immediately hoisted a pump down and uh, let the crew get to work on that. By virtue of the fact that the vessel was so close to uh, Station Sicily, we had them come out. Once we got there, I, you know, I was trying to talk to the pilot to assess how bad it was to see if the water was washing over the decks or not. And if, because if it's washing over the decks, uh, there's absolutely no way that we can stop the flooding. So I told him I was going to take one of the crew members off the, the gambler, you know, to talk to him to see the extent of damage, what exactly happened and where the water was in their engine room. And so I pulled up the first time uh, to, to take the first crewman off. And because of the seas, that it looks like we're riding right up over the boat. But there's a peak of a wave right underneath us holding it there. So we got kind of, you know, it was kind of lucky on those. Uh, I had my crew up on the bow to help grab them when they jumped over. I was worried about getting fallen over with all the waves being up on the bow. There's really not much to grab onto. They had no idea where the flooding was coming in. Uh, they don't know what happened. What they assumed was one of their planks in the bow popped out and they were just, the water was just pouring in. And they said, well, they want to keep trying to pump it. And I told the guy, you know, unless you have the hole plugged, trying to pump out this boat would be like trying to pump the Atlantic Ocean. It'd be impossible. And I watched the boat. It took a real slow roll, just barely moving. And we were smashing all over the place. And I told him, like, that's it. Too far gone. You're not going to be able to save it. I have to take you off. And at first, they were objecting, saying we weren't given a chance to try to save the boat. They started to agree when they, they looked at the situation around them. There was water washing over the decks. Everything was sliding around. And they were not making any headway. So when we pulled up the second time, again, my crew was up to the bow to help them over. Uh, as soon as we got up there, they were more than happy to jump onto the bow of the boat. You know, a couple minutes right after I took them off that the thing decided to sink. Crew stood there, they were on the stern of our boat watching, and they watched their whole life roll over and sink to the bottom of the ocean. It was a big loss for me because that's how I made my living. I worked for years to pay for that thing. And we just get now so that the payment it was all paid for and we were starting to make some money with it. The boat was so old that uh, you couldn't get insurance on it. Lloyd's London wouldn't even touch it. So it was a total loss, the whole 80,000. You know, so, you know it's a, it was a gamble. The fishing business is a gamble. They say that the sea's a uh, jealous mystery. And the sea just calmly swallowed this boat up. 